Imagine a world where AI innovation isn't held back by expensive hardware or energy guzzling data centers. A world where the playing field is leveled and new players can disrupt the status quo. Welcome to the new era of AI. You know, the DeepSeek version 2 is making waves, challenging the status quo and rewriting the rules of AI economics. So what's behind this revolution? Let's take a closer look. How DeepSeek version 2 is changing the game. The battle between efficiency and brute force in AI computing. How DeepSeek version 2 is shaking up the AI landscape and taking on NVIDIA. And finally, the new opportunities and business models emerging from focus on efficiency. So let's get started. You know, something interesting is happening in the AI world. DeepSeek has just entered the scene and it is worth taking a note. They are taking a different approach to AI development, one that could potentially change the way we think about AI cost and accessibility. As we explore DeepSeek's early results, a striking pattern emerges. High performance AI might not require massive investments after all. And this raises some intriguing questions about the future of AI development and who might benefit from this shift. So let's take a closer look. To put things into perspective, consider NVIDIA's remarkable financials. Their gross margin of 75% in FY25 Q2 and Q3 is staggering. For every dollar they make, they get to keep nearly 75 cents as profit. And this impressive performance shows why they have been undisputed leader in AI chips. But here is an interesting bit too. They actually get their chips made by TSMC, Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company. However, this dominance might be facing a challenge now. Think of luxury brands like LVMH, where a Louis Vuitton bag costs just about $500 to make and is often sold over $5,000. Nvidia has been doing something similar with his GPU. But here is the difference. AI compute power is necessity and it is not luxury. With competitors like DeepSeek providing solutions that cost just about $6 million or so, compared to OpenAI's estimated development cost of over $100 million, investors are re-evaluating NVIDIA's dominance. Now here is where things get really interesting. After DeepSeek's announcement, NVIDIA lost nearly $600 billion in the market cap. That's not just a dip, it's a warning sign. Investors are asking, is NVIDIA's dominance at risk? And what does this mean for broader AI ecosystem? Let's talk a few numbers. The development cost of DeepSeek's first generation reasoning model was just about 6 million. While Meta's Llama 3.1 estimated at over 100 million. In terms of GPU hours required for training, DeepSeq used 2.78 million GPU hours compared to Llama's 30.8 million GPU hours. That's staggering 91% reduction. This isn't just cost cutting. It's a paradigm shift in AI efficiency. And here is why it is so huge. Lower costs means lower barriers to entry. Startups no longer need billion dollars budget to compete which could trigger a wave of AI driven innovations. Countries like India, with its rapidly growing tech ecosystems, deep engineering talent pool, and strong government push for AI adoption are uniquely positioned to capitalize on this shift. Low compute costs could enable homegrown AI solutions tailored to local challenges, whether it's on healthcare, agriculture, or finance while also giving Indian startups a competitive edge on the global stage. DeepSeek is also redefining AI training. Traditionally, building AI models required massive data sets, cloud infrastructure, and high-end GPUs. But their optimized training strategy reduces dependency on expensive cloud computing, making AI development cheaper, faster than ever before. Let's talk about AI chip revolution. Companies like Grok, G-R-O-Q, 
and Cerebras are designing ultra-efficient chips specifically for inference training. Grok Language Processing Unit, or it's called LPUs, are built for real-time AI applications, significantly boosting performance while lowering costs. These advances could challenge NVIDIA's grip on the AI hardware market. In fact, DeepSeek boasts an impressive efficiency gain over OpenAI by leveraging its innovative approach to inference time compute scaling. This represents not just improvement, but a complete shift in how AI models are built and deployed. Now let's clear up some common AI misconceptions. More tokens don't always mean better models. While some LLMs boast 15 trillion plus tokens, research shows that diminishing return kicks in beyond a certain point. What truly matters is the quality and diversity of the training data. Deep Six approach prioritizes data efficiency, delivering better performance without unnecessary computational overhead. Now here is the elephant in the room, GPU utilization. I mean, think about it. Billion of billions of dollars are being left on the table because we are not using these high-end GPU efficiently. It is like buying a Ferrari and not driving it at first gear. The culprit? Bottlenecks, power constraints, software optimizations. That's, well, suboptimal. But DeepSeek is changing the game by focusing on data quality and diversity rather than just throwing more hardware at the problem, which, let's be honest, is a complete different approach. It's like finally shifting into the high gear and the benefits are going to be huge. So why does this matter? Well, you know how much energy data centers use globally? A hopping 150 gigawatts. Saving 10% of energy through better GPU utilization could result close to 1.5 billion in saving annually, which is equivalent to taking 3 million cars off the road, powering 12 million homes per year, creating 3,000 jobs. But that's not all. Optimizing GPU efficiency also means lower costs for cloud providers through reduced energy consumptions and maintenance, increased utilizations and improved pricing power, leading to potential revenue growth. New business models and revenue streams, such as AI as a service or GPU as a service. So the takeaway, the race isn't just about building bigger AI models. It's about building smarter and more efficient models. Now, as we look for the future, another crucial factor comes into play. The global access to efficient AI solutions. The AI landscape is evolving rapidly with geopolitical tensions and trade restrictions impacting major players. And this shift could lead to more investment in home ground, AI startups, reshaping the AI landscape yet again. And this shift could be huge for industries like finance and healthcare, where accuracy and compliance are crucial. With new players emerging, companies will have more AI options tailored to their specific needs without geopolitical baggage. As we wrap up today's conversation, I invite you to dive deeper into the world of emerging tech and discover how companies are leveraging this new approach like chain of thoughts models. Explore innovative startups entering this space and stay ahead of the curve. What does this mean for the future of AI? Deep Six Rise signals a major shift in AI economics, moving value creation away from expensive hardware towards more intelligent, cost-efficient models. We are entering a new era of AI, one that challenges established players while creating fresh opportunities. For a deeper dive, I highly recommend checking out Jeffrey Emanuel's article, he breaks this down brilliantly. That's for today, Forge POV. And if you found this thought provoking, like, subscribe, share, drop your thoughts in the comments. 
Will deep seek revolutionize AI landscape or is this just the beginning of a new trend? I want to hear your thoughts. See you next time and bye for now.